Hello everyone. Well, this time I'm selling a uh, speed control for AC uh, devices. Uh, this including the knob, the disc, the connector. Notice it's just uh, hot and neutral. This has no ground the fuse the cable cord and I decide to take off take out the screws in order to sh reveal what exactly is inside you know I mean because it's good to know and what I found is a really nice um, rheostat transformer in really good conditions um, 210 to 30 output 100 and 100 0 to 100 volts 0 to 132 the input is 120 volts uh, and 120 volt at 60 that means if you used uh, 220 but this is set up for 120 so the type is type 108 power stat variable transformer so these are really nice conditions pretty clean pretty nice so after the video I will put the screws on and see well let me turn it on plug in and see what I like to use those is for my Dremel tool even this variable speed my my Dremel tool the way I do I put all the way the highest speed in the Dremel and uh, I plug the Dremel and then I start increasing a little bit and you see this is probably the less revolutions per It's a very constant. I like this because uh, that way you have to make many applications at different speeds. In this case, it's at about a 30. Actually, it's turning at 25. This is nice. Okay. So, another test that I do with this. Just remember, it's not for a DC, it's for AC. That's a light. Let's turn this couple lights off. That way you're able to see too. The tiny. Let me remove the cover. That way you see the ball, the, uh, the the little light. Let's turn this tune off too. Let's put this one back right there. So 
so this is what I set for an AC 120 uh, devices but for my for my own taste I mean <laughs> I like them for my uh, Dremel tool because what I said I put if you have a variable uh, if this is better if you have a just one speed uh, Dremel or a spindle because you can control the the speed if, but if you have a variable speed Dremel or another spindle which is variable 120 volts AC you put all the way to the top all the way um, the speed of the spindle and start with this guy. I just noticed a, t a tiny chip in the nub but you know it's not affecting in anything and as a power stat you know some scratches in the aluminum and the body you know it's normal because it's been stored for a long for a while so anyway I want to sell this for $27.50 and I have to put it in a medium flat rate box because it's more than three pounds of weight so if I send it to you guys parts or post it's gonna cost probably the same so I will have to sell for just $11 so I don't gonna get any profit about the shipping because the bus box is gonna cost me ten eighty five. I just round it to eleven dollars so I like to be fair in the shipping I never I don't try to get that you know a lot of people sell cheap and take too much of shipping because the fees in eBay is pretty high especially in this category but I think it's not correct I think the first thing is say well I want twenty seven fifty for this including you know power core and what you see of course not my Dremel tool <laughs> but um, just what you see in here twenty seven fifty plus eleven dollars and the dimension are this is four inches with five inches length and three inches tall. I check the fuse, and what you see inside is in really good condition. Twenty-seven fifty, which is a very good deal, and eleven dollars for shipping. USPS medium flat rate box. Priority mail to the continental U.S. only. Thank you for watching, and I'll take a few pictures, and we'll be on sale pretty soon. Thank you.